Hey everybody, I am Keese here. I want to try something a little bit new that I've seen a couple other commentators do, mainly T. Martin and Onslaught, where they take a, you know, less than good game, or maybe not even less than good, just, you know, one of the one of their gameplays and show the good points, the bad points, things that they can improve on, talk about improvements that they could have done, and talk about how their teammates are doing, and the enemies, and what they're doing, and what they should be doing, you know, things like that. Now, uh, with that out of the way, let the video begin. You'll see at the beginning of the game I go to pick my FAMOS class. This is a great gun for this map seeing how there are a lot of mid to long range sights. Also because the snow makes it a little bit harder to see, it makes spraying and praying a little bit harder to see. Because you have to constantly know where your enemy is while you're spraying. FAMOS only takes one to two bursts into them so you don't have to worry about them anymore. If you were paying attention to the UAV, you'd notice that we have a fairly decent amount of my teammates that are going for the B flag. Having people that are willing to take that risk is great. Those kind of people know that they're going to take a quite a few deaths in while they know that they also have a great chance of winning the match. Not only that, but while those people are doing that, we have a pretty good amount of teammates that are setting themselves up hopefully to not let the enemy team gain any map control and capture any flags. So as shown in this picture, these are in my opinion the most common routes that people will be taking on sub-base domination. Seals are blue, Spetsen has red, both should be running towards B in the, meeting, but in the beginning, but in my opinion Spetsen has have a much better spawn for it. Spetsen has most likely be running towards straight up B and to the far right, near C. Seals will be taking the middle and more often than not take A for the lower and upper part of control room. So based on that information, I took the more common route for the Spetsen has, knowing that less seals would be over in that direction hoping that I wouldn't get a death to start the round. So here you'll notice I make the mistake of pushing up too far, looking for a couple kills, and as you'll see later, it proves itself good for about two kills, but I die instantly, which I... if I hadn't made that decision, I probably would have lived for a much longer time. Not only that, but I also go into their control room, which isn't really a smart move because oftentimes people will continuously rush there, spamming explosives and such, trying to take it back. So here, I'm trying to take a side view of B and making sure nobody comes up from it. So, taking a flank is a lot better than running towards it directly. So throughout the course of this game, I've been looking at the minimap and trying to find out where my teammates normally are. I've noticed that no one was really trying to cover this left flank of C flag, and I try to stick near here throughout the game and basically stop anybody that was going to come and capture the flag um, and sometimes they did get past but me being so close I, every time I saw it flash I was able to stop them from capping it Here at this point, it seems like they feel as if they have control of their control room. And I noticed this, and so I want to take them out of their control room. But I'm going to let them stay for a little while, just so they can feel as if they have control. And when they die, they continuously run back to it and try to get it again. This picture here represents the sections in which I have a uh, good look of where I can see people. I have a cover to protect from the right and the left, and the red indicates where I have danger and where I need to constantly check over. Blue, like I said, is where I can see people coming from. Green is to the right of me is basically this box I have that covers me. Um, I can see straight in front of me towards the two windows that I've labeled, and the door I can see, and anybody that's coming up. The red it's not totally what I wanted to label, but I couldn't get it any better. What I really meant is to my far left, if you look at the UAV, to like, you know, just my left, um, that's the flank that I always have to constantly look for because 
um, that's where people are going to be coming from to capture our C flag because we have a pretty strong right side of the map so I don't think anybody's going to be coming from that side and that's really it. throughout the game I check I continuously in checking that spot just to make sure that nobody's coming over So you notice here that I continuously check this little bottom window. I don't even really worry about the top window saying I have a teammate, teammate up there. But if I am continuously looking at the little bottom entrance door thing, I can tell the people that are on my team if anybody's coming up. Um, and if they're far away, you know, I can just pick them off so they don't gain any more control than they should have. And so this is what I meant. People coming from my left and they can come up from behind us and Cap C when I'm not looking, and me checking over my left constantly proves that it works. Enemy so when it comes to enemy air support, it's always great to have a class pre-made to shoot down air support. Um, and you'll see here I already have the class that I have now, it already has a stinger. Um, stinger's better than javelin in my opinion, javelin can sometimes miss. And I've seen a couple of videos where a javelin actually kills the person who shot the javelin. And so, I mean, I'm not doing this to save myself, because you'll see I already have cold-blooded pro, so it's not like I personally needed the chopper down. It's more of a thing because the team will spend a lot of more time on the air sport, whether they need to capture flags, to uh, make sure that the other people don't capture flags. It distracts them, so it's always great to get down the air sport as soon as you can. So here I was hearing a lot of enemy and teammate fire into that little tunnel I guess you can call it. So I was trying to get a better look, see what's going on, maybe I can help a little bit. Every time I notice that C is being captured, I try to rush towards it as quick as I can, taking as little amount of damage as I can. So every time I get to the gunfight in which the guy is taking C and I try to kill him, I have as much health as I possibly can. So I die. I make the mistake here that I try to run out too quickly and I don't have any cover. I mean I get lucky there but it won't work in most situations. So if you can, try to get cover before you run out and try to get the revenge kill. I put this claymore down here because this area has been getting a lot more traffic than I'm used to. Um, for the entire game, I mean it's been pretty quiet, nothing too too exciting. But here I'm getting a lot more people. Um, I put this climate on here so anybody that gets too close, they have a nice little present waiting for them. So after what just happened with all the new people coming into this area, I wanted to make sure as I go back into my spot, I took it slow to make sure nobody was going to be around the corner.
So that's game guys, um, I thought it would be a great idea to have something new up here and I wanted to basically give this a go and if you like the video, you know, tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching, bye.